I'm Peter Taylor. I live in Dunedin, and this is my studio. I'm working on a nice big painting here. Uh, this year, um, as a runner, I have a few more big ultra marathons that I want to do. Um, still feeling a little bit burnt out from last summer, but um, I'm looking at trying to run Tobermory to Wyarton on the Bruce Trail, and uh, my first race being a 50k in uh, uh, Pick Your Poison at Horseshoe Valley. Um, so in between my painting, I like to do a lot of running, which is very easy, just out the front door. That's the Bruce Trails in my backyard. So uh, this is me. So when we first bought this house, this was a garage. And I knew when we were going to buy the house, I'm like, all right, we're good. I got a studio. <laughs> I did track in grade six, seven, and eight, and that was kind of the intro, but um, the, the trail running really spoke to my spirit. Um, and maybe a lot of that is due to a lot of the camping and hiking and paddling that I've done as well, like just being in the bush and maybe just being a landscape painter, that all of that kind of meshed together really, really well. 10 years ago is when I did my first 50K in Virginia. I saw this race online. I phoned up my buddy, he goes, let's do it. Let's do a road trip together. So um, as nervous as I was, I'm like, all right, let's do it. So we went down there and, and uh, of course I had massive butterflies as I always do when I'm ever I'm doing a race. But this was like, this is new territory. This is like a whole new space for me. It's 50K. I have never done a road marathon, which is 42K. So I, I did this race in Virginia and it was gorgeous and uh, managed to come in fifth place. Um, and uh, it was a rush, like that kind of stuff sticks with you. After you do something like that for the very first time, you're like, wow, it's like learning a trick. Or when you're climbing, you know, you finally have done a 512, anything in life, right? Anything that you, you put yourself out there and you do it for the very first time and it's super exciting. You don't stop learning. That was the year we found out we moved, we were moving here. And uh, I had knee surgery that year, just because I think uh, I trained too hard, I was too excited, and after I did the 50K, I tried to race like a 21K the next week. It's a rush, I love it. I did a big race last year, the biggest one I've ever done. It's a, called the Fat Dog 120 Mile. It was uh, in the Cascade Mountains, went through three different provincial parks, and it was a big undertaking, a lot of training. Um, and uh, when I came back, I wanted to, it, it took me outside of painting. I wanted to loosen up and start sketching again. And so some of these big drawings on canvas are what I've started. And I want to continue them because I, quite frankly, I miss the mountains. And uh, when I was out running, in these mountains, I wasn't, uh, it was a bit chaotic. The weather changed, and as you can imagine, being out there that long, you're, you're gonna go through a lot of adversity. Um, so I wanted to come back. I was feeling incredibly inspired, lots of energy, mentally, not physically. So I wanted to put the paintbrush down and get back to the sketching, which is a big part of my roots. It's really, really nice to just to put lace up impulsively when I'm not, the painting's not going so well and I want to get out and I want to put in some miles because the sun came out. Or even when it's miserable out, which I quite love, right? Just that luxury of being able to go whenever I want on these beautiful trails that, you know, a lot of people just come up for the weekend to check them out. Being an older parent, um, I think I waited to just the, about the right time. You know, my dad said to me once, uh, didn't she, you know, when she wished that you did this a long time ago, I'm like, no, I think I got it just right at the right time. 